Before we go to like the opinion making of the papers, something that just came to my mind is you mentioned that these papers are like Whig or Democratic. They, they do have these political affiliations. Mm -hmm. You don't have that in Europe with papers or, or you do have in some cases that the paper maybe leans a little bit more to the liberal side or more to the conservative side in France or you go into this kind of liberal Tory or various types of shades of political identity in Great Britain. Did these papers actually, when they pulled something from a European newspaper for reprint, actually embrace and look into these ideologies that the European papers embrace? Or was this more like, well, I just had the London Morning Post ready and I'm just going to use this article that speaks in some form to what I believe? That's a really good question. Um, all of the above, I would say. <laughs> So sometimes they print things without commentary that are really kind of surprising. So they'll reprint pieces that kind of go against their mm -hmm. position with no commentary. And then sometimes they'll, you know, extract little bits and of course give a fair amount of commentary. We agree, we disagree. Here's what we think about this. Um, I will say what I really did not see, what the sources do not provide is a really kind of clear cut, here is a well thought out political ideology of international yeah. perspectives. Yeah. Instead, this is much more of um, what you could call an instrumentalist nationalism. Mm -hmm. So they're really kind of, like I say, pulling this, speaking on that, slipping that in there, really using this language of international nationalism with an expectation that their audience will understand what they're talking about basically so they're not so much sitting down and writing lengthy articles about let me lay out here are the five main tenets of the liberal secessionist perspective again it's much more kind of casual dispersed throughout the discourse um and certainly they're in conversation with these extracts they're pulling from european newspapers particularly if a european newspaper expresses favor towards the Confederate position. So if there's, you know, discussion of potential diplomatic recognition of the Confederacy, for mm -hmm. example, um, Southern newspapers were quick to point that out because it of course corroborated their case. So, um, but yeah, again, this is really kind of a instrumentalist um, perspective they're using here where they're really kind of drawing on all sources available to help them make these cases about their nationhood.